a one for this. So it's currently Tuesday and I just need to make a video like today. So Windows 11 is on this USB stick and we're gonna install it on the Mac Mini. All right, so we're in the Boot Camp Assistant. We can continue and actually, we're gonna download the Windows support software first because I don't have a USB stick. The USB stick is still on. Rufus is still doing things. So I clicked on download, um, save as Windows support. Um, I have another USB stick here that's just gonna be used for Sony, um, Sony boot camp drivers. So I'm gonna plug it in and I'm just gonna give it a format. All right, we are erasing the USB currently mounting and it's done so now we can save it onto um let's see can we do this again download windows support so let's put it on boot camp i'll just save this windows support and save so now we are downloading the windows support software okay it took its time but it's done so I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna download the latest Windows support software because I have the USB stick in. Where did I put the flipping USB? Found it. So I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna remove the boot cam. Oh gosh. Okay, I retrieved it. So we're just going to install Windows 10 at one later. What? What? On the USB drive? Why USB drive? It's... It's... It's right there! It's on a USB drive! I guess I'm not doing this with boot camp. Alright. Alright, we're going into manual here. We're gonna add a partition, add a partition, and then I'm just gonna give Windows 60 gigs. Oh uh, yeah, just gonna set it to MS DOS fat. Apply partition. Um, continue. Oh, applying changes. Okay, I'll just let it do its thing. All right, operation successful. So we just have untitled MS-DOS Fat32. So I'm gonna reboot now and boot off the USB. All right, we have our options. We can either boot from Macintosh HD or Windows. I choose Windows. Hey! It's actually big though. Yeah, take a look at that. That's a big one. So we're just gonna let it load up. Oh no. All right, we're in. Mouse works. So I'm just gonna go through the regular Windows 11 installation process. Getting a few things ready that accept. So I'm gonna delete the partition. And um, next, install it on this analog. What? Refresh. Oh wait, um, it did the thing. Okay. Oh, okay. Install. Installing Windows 11, your PC will restart several times. This may take a while, okay. Okay, so it says I need internet. I'm just gonna say I don't have internet. Just a moment. Logging in. Okay. Now time to put in on um, the the boot camp thing. Getting things ready for you. Okay. And we're in. We have Windows 11. It's 
installed on this map. I genuinely thought this was going to be a lot harder. Now time for the fun part. Drivers. I have the bootcamp USB in there and it's not detecting. Alright. I need, I need disk management. Oh. 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 Well, well then. Well, well then. Alright, rebooting into Mac OS. <sighs> Alright, logging back into Mac OS. What? It's not picking up the USB. USB stick ready. Oh, there we go. Hey! And we have Windows support on here. We can go boot camp. Boot camp? Apple? I have no idea what I'm doing. Boot camp. This installer requires um, elevated, I don't care. Bootcamp. Okay, now we finally have the setup executable. We can now, um, we can now run this. Um, yes. Alright, preparing to install. Oh, welcome to the bootcamp installer. Um, next, I accept, install. Okay, preparing. Alright, we're installing Apple software update. Okay, so right now we just have a blank screen. And I know this computer is up and running. I know that this computer is up and running for a fact. I heard the startup sound, didn't catch it on camera though, but the graphics driver is broken. So I'm gonna try the, oh, it just rebooted. Didn't even press the thing. All right, Windows. Oh, um, oh yeah. So I thought it was gonna do this. It's just gonna go, oh, um, yeah, we have restarted for three times. So now we'll drop you into recovery. Anyway, I'll just let it do there. Oh, looks like Windows didn't load correctly. I'm gonna see advanced repair options. So I'm gonna troubleshoot. I'm gonna start up settings. Restart. Windows. And I'm going to do option five. So this will boot it in safe mode, but I can use um, networking. Oh, we're in. We can open this link, that's fine. So yeah, we have the Intel graphics, the media controller thing. Oh, wait, what? Like right, the driver is really um, not working. I'm gonna go into the device management. And okay, we have status not available. Um, all right, Intel HD Graphics 3000. Uninstall. I'm gonna, yes, restart. So we have no graphics driver. Hopefully this will work. I heard it. And we're in, so it was the graphics. Oh! WDF violation. Windows driver framework violation. Okay then. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, oh. Okay, so we're currently in a bit of a boot loop right now. It tries to use a driver, probably the right, the internet driver. Then it just can't. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, to end this video on a failure here. Well, yes, you can install Windows 11 on a Mac. It doesn't really work really well. So unless I get a newer Mac, 
th there's no way this is going to be possible. And on that note, I'm ending this here. If you guys have any suggestions on how to get this working, please leave a comment or something with your suggestion. And besides, this video is already late anyway, and I don't want this to be any later. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you just want to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next upload.